Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff back with another Hep Ahead beer review. Um, before I get into my review, I want to show you guys two things really quick that I just picked up. Duck Rabbit Snifter. Heard these are pretty hard to find. I don't know. I just saw it and thought it looked awesome, so I thought I'd pick it up. And then... Mother Earth Snifter. It says Mother Earth. You can't really see it too well, but it says Mother Earth Brewing right there. Um... And with the whole lawsuit and everything like that, I didn't know if they were going to change, so I thought maybe this would be a collector's item down the road. Plus, looks looks tight as well. That's a cool, one of the coolest symbols for brewing I've ever seen. But here I'm doing Lagunitas Little Something Wild Ale. I think it's, a, it's either a Belgian Pale Ale or a Belgian IPA. 8.85% um, alcohol by volume. It's got 72.51 IBUs and 1.082 original gravity. Um, and it's fermented with the same yeast uh, that they use in West Mala, which is a uh, Trappist brewery. They've got, they've got a freaking book right there of information about the beer. They've got to be some nerdy ass people that work over there because of the kind of stuff that they write on these on these uh, bottles. I feel like I would get along with them pretty well. But Lagunitas hasn't disappointed me yet, so I'm pretty excited about this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. It came off really easily. This one's got the red top on it. You can see right there. Got some little little bubble action going on right there. Let's go ahead and get a port. It's really pretty looking. Oh, I can already smell the hops from here. It's got a nice creamy finger of tan khaki head. It's got a pretty orange, pretty orange color, not quite rust colored um, or too dark. Maybe a little bit lighter than some IPAs, but it's it's got a really pretty color. It's got a lot of bubbles coming up from the bottom too, and that head is sticking around. It looks nice and creamy. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of hops with this one. Nice and hoppy. I'm getting some of that, you know, that Belgian funk. Um, I guess that's what you could call it. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it's just got a nice Belgian smell. But definitely lots of hops. And I'm really excited for this one. This is a limited release, so I think it comes out every summer. Um, there's multiple beers in the Little Something series. There's Little Something Something, which is a, a wheat ale. And then I know there's Little Something Wild, and I'm sure there's some other ones too. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, yeah, it smells good. I don't know, I had a weird aftertaste, that's why I made that face. Um, smells definitely better than the taste. Um, I am initially getting some hops, but then I'm getting some kind of off flavors towards the middle. I'm definitely getting some alcohol towards the end. I'm not really getting any hops or anything in there. And maybe because it's so cold, but the the Belgian yeast flavor isn't really coming um, coming through too much. I'm just getting a little bit of hops. And then it's, I'm getting some alcohol towards the end. Yeah, it's got a lot of alcohol. Um, all right, well, I'm going to let it warm up a little bit. Hopefully it'll improve. And I'll see you guys. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes or so, and uh, it's been warming up a good bit. Um, so let's go ahead and give it another taste. Cheers. Wait first. I smelled it. There's a lot more malt coming through. You're still getting a good hop kiss, but it definitely is way more malty to, to balance out the hops. That's pretty good. A lot more hops are coming through with the... Um, when it's warmed up some. Still getting a good amount of alcohol though. Um, kind of kind of unpleasant. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's an old bottle or something. I think it came out this summer and it's already middle of November, but 
I don't know. I'm going to give this one a, a C. I'm going to give it a, a 78. Um, it's got a little bit too much alcohol for me. Not enough hop kiss. Um, the malt's there, but can't really taste it that much. It's It still is pretty good, though, regardless of those facts. Um, yeah, it still is definitely drinkable. Um, yeah, and it's still pretty good. So, 78. Lagunita is a little something wild. And this is actually probably the worst one that I've had from them. And to still get a C, I think that's pretty good for a brewery. But if you're looking for a good Belgian IPA, I would go with um, Belgo IPA from New Belgium. That's just got a ridiculously creamy, delicious head. And um, what's the other one? Wild Devil by Victory. Both of those are really good. I've only seen Wild Devil in um, a corked and caged uh, 750 milliliter. Um, and it's probably about nine bucks or so for that. Um, and then Belgo, you can get it for a six pack for like nine or ten bucks. So pretty affordable there. But so 78. And I'll catch you guys next time. I'm probably going to do another review tonight because I'm starting kind of early. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.